Sandra. Hello. Amazing. Amazing. You have the camera on. Yep. And wow. I have here my cup of coffee because you told us yesterday that we are going to celebrate ah, today. That's right. <laughs> that's right. Yeah. <laughs> ah, great to see you. I didn't know you had dimples. Yes, I have it because of my mother. <laughs> That's great. It's not so common yeah. to see. Mm -hmm. Really? Yeah, I don't know too many people with dimples. Well, I have a, most of my family members have dimples here, even yeah. boys. <laughs> ah, yeah. then it's a family yeah. thing. Mm -hmm. Yep, yes, it is. <laughs> yes, it is. So how I need to tell you something. Tell me, Sandra. Today I had a job interview and I passed. <gasps> Congratulations! Work at Sykes, but something happened. Oh no! Mm -hmm. Yeah, because the training is going to be from 7 a.m. to 5 p.m. and I and I will study the next year. And the training is going to last three months, so I didn't take it just because of that. 7 a.m. to 5 p.m. Yes. Mm. Three months training. It's a lot and of I, training. Yes, because the recruiter told me that the company has new accounts just now, just because of the pandemic. And a friend told me the same, that because all of the pandemic, uh, the account was Expedia. Uh, yes. yes, because and the Expedia is for, is, is yeah. for tourism and, and a lot. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's why. That was the reason. So, I'm looking for some other options. Maybe they have flexibility on that training, but I won't quit. <laughs> I won't yeah. And well, you said you're going to go for classes at the university, but mm, yeah. What about the weekends? And and then you can work. You can still work and study on the weekends. But I, well, how to tell you this? I was pre-selected for studying the during five days in the week. If I study just on weekends, I have to study more time than two years. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's why. Okay, I got you. Yeah. Mm. But I will try in some other place. I have tell performance or tell us that are really close to, to Ivka. Uh, because that's right, because you're you're studying at Ivka, right? So you want to go yes. somewhere close to there. Yeah. Yeah, the, the question is, mm, maybe uh, the schedule is not a problem. Maybe it's the training. The training is, is what's going to be the problem. Yes, the training is the problem. But I have some friends that tried uh, teleperformance and they just had a training about two or three weeks. And that will be perfect if I had that kind of training because I will start like on February classes. Yeah. 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 Unfortunately, I, I think now is the many accounts um, before used to be uh, online or at home. And I think now is the problem because yeah. now there are not so many online accounts. Yes, you're right. Mm -hmm. And my internet speed is not so good. Too. Okay. Yes. Yeah, I hear. I, will try. I heard Expedia is, is actually pretty difficult because you have a lot, a lot of things to uh, to memorize and to learn because the account yes. is very big and very technical. You have a lot of yes. a lot of things that you need to practice. That was I was reading about, and the recruiter told me that because they are going to have a new product there, maybe refunds or something like that. But mm, he didn't explain it very well, but I understand that that account is really difficult. Yeah, you make good money because Expedia gives good bonuses. They give like a hundred dollar bonus every two weeks. They give a, a, a performance bonus. They give, um, I think they give free trips to the Cameron for you and a, and a friend or family member. So, I mean, I understand that they give a lot of bonuses, but the account is hard. So it's kind of like, yes, yes it's hard, but you can get, you know, good money or good benefits. 
in as you're right. It's the kind of challenge I like, but I'm not prepared for that yet. Okay. All right. Well, you know, keep looking. I mean, you're going to find yes. something. And the important is that you want to finish your studies. That's the important. It's not yeah. about, you know, and some people forget and they say, no, 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 I'm going to make money and I study later. But no, it's always better no. to finish the studies first and then get the job because yes, it took me a lot of time for getting that place aditka it took me three weeks not sleeping well <laughs> yes just to do and the I'm homework there, in the know. exams yeah 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 yes. <laughs> okay. so that's why okay okay good i see we have oscar and stephanie and elias hey guys how are you Fine, you? Great. Great. How are you? Good, good. Do you have class or do you have more classes? Say again. Uh, can you repeat, Oscar? Uh, will you have vacations tomorrow or you have another class oh, in other places? I still have classes. I still have classes until Saturday. Saturday is the last day that I have classes. <laughs> So you're going to have a party at your house on Saturday? <laughs> uh, on Sunday. After it's Saturday, I have to make sure all, everything is uploaded and finished and done. And then Sunday is my official day to, to okay. rest. But on Barbecue. Monday, <laughs> on Monday, I'm going to the beach. Cool. Yeah. Which one? I don't know yet. With my friends, we're organizing. We, because all of us are finishing. Some of them finished um, yesterday. Others finish tomorrow, and then we're just thinking, hey, we should get together before the people go on vacation because a lot of people still work on Monday. So we said, hey, yeah. Monday, Monday would be a good day to go to the beach before it is very crowded. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. Great option. Have fun, teacher. Thank you, Stephanie. I, I, I hope so. I, I, I want to go surfing, really. I, 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 always, I always want to go, but I, the problem is that not everybody – it's not fun to go by yourself, right? And it's it's new, and I don't know how to do it. But I like to, I would like to try, and I always try to convince my friends to to learn to surf with me. But nobody wants to, so maybe I can convince them this time, and we can go surfing. I want to see why in Salvador they call it Surf City and and Puro Surf and and El Puerto. I I, mm -hmm. I mean, people come from all the, all different countries, so I'm curious why you know what's exciting about it mm -hmm. what about you guys what are your plans what are you going to be doing well i'm going to to be on training until saturday and then uh starting again on monday until thursday 24 december 24. and how's the training going well um I may say that it, it is um it has a little a little bit of it has there it is difficult um, but it's not that kind of hard because we we are starting but um, I may say that it it's um, it's not funny uh like entretenido entertaining entertaining yes mm -hmm. It's entertaining because my trainer is is so cool, patient, and kind, and I am le learning a lot of things. And yesterday and today, I made like four courses in a rush, and to also exams. And <laughs> I was like, "What?" But it's only the third day, but that's the way it is, and I am enjoying it. Okay, kind of like Sandra, right? It's you have to work so hard to get there, and then it's a challenge, and you say, "Okay, I can do this. I can do this." <laughs> yes. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, I think this is the 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 nice thing about when you're studying is, especially if you find something that you like and it's a little challenging, then because you feel good, you're like, "Wow, I'm advancing. I like it. I'm I'm progressing." That's the the nice things. Yes, and Sandra. Uh... Are you now on training too? No, I'm not. I just passed uh, the interview today, but the schedule is not good for me, so I didn't take it. 
really. Yeah. I'm sorry to hear that. Yes, but I will try what? in another place. Yeah. Um, I hope you can do it well. My schedule is the training is from 7 a.m. to 4 p.m. Yes, so it's okay. a little bit. Which it's days? cool because I'm working from home uh, from Monday to Friday. How many weeks? Oh, well, I think I'm a month and 10 days because it, it lasts until from 15, December 15 until January 25th. Oh, maybe, okay. Sandra, that could be something for you. Yes. yes. You, should, you should try uh, concentrics because that's when I applied, where I applied. And you maybe will be working from home because I'm working from home. Uh, I cannot work from home. No. <laughs> that's another boundary, no, because I requested wow. the company to improve my internet speed and they told me that it is not possible in this area how how much do you have sandra five five mm, how much do you need stephanie ten i it... i'm sorry i i got i lost how how, how much or how fast does your internet need to be to work at concentric oh yes ten megas up and to 10 megas. Up to 10. Ah, uh, Sandra. Yeah. yeah. Yes, that's a, that's a, uh, like a must. Mm. Yes, it is. Yes. And they don't have faster internet there, huh? No. Yeah, that's a problem then. Then you can't work from home. No. But you can. Sorry, but if you apply, um, uh, I think they have the they will give you the opportunity to apply to be on site because there are people mm -hmm. that are working on site, not only yes, and also the training. Oh. Yes, because I heard that Sykes is offering the training on site just a couple of weeks ago, but people that try to go there, they weren't able to to continue the training because they needed to do it online. Ah, okay. Yeah, yeah that's it's why. It's just recently. Mm. The, yeah, the company, just, the company just told us every day that we call them that someone is still the wires and the wires and something like that. When they came to this neighbor and someone just stole the, the wires. Wow. Something that is really weird. Weird, I mean. Yeah. Maybe yeah. they did it and they sold it. <laughs> yeah, that happens because yes. some people that that they they take it for the metal and then they sell it. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm yes. Well, but maybe yeah, so. next year. The recruiter suggested me that I need to do it in, in about 6 months. Ah, really? Just to see how the schedule at university goes. Oh, okay. Yes. Ah, yes. Because he was studying there, and that was, he just gave me a lot of advices just because of that. He studied there, too. Okay, don't worry. Yeah. You you will worry. find. You, you will, yes, you will find uh, yes. the best option for you. Yes. Thank you. <laughs> I don't know okay. if you mentioned before, but uh, um, the, um, the niece of my wife, she's going in, in training from her house, from Teleperformance. Um, I don't know, I, don't, I forget about the, the name of the account, but she just was telling that it was really difficult and, uh, and the training will be three weeks. Uh, I think she's starting after Christmas. I don't know if you know something about teleperformance, uh, but if, if you need the information, I can give you I her I have content. some options to try because that was my first option, so I have to look for some others. Okay, okay. Yeah, cool. that was it. Thank you.
You see, everybody's, everybody's trying to help begin yes. the new year with a job. Begin the new year with a job. <laughs> yes. <laughs> because that was my first goal to this year, to get a job, a formal job. And you had it. You just didn't accept it. So there you go. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's hard. I think, I, um, I don't know. Do you guys do New Year's resolution? Does anybody do like have plans for next year and you say, no, next year I'm going to, you know, get a formal job. I'm going to buy a car. I don't know. Get a motorcycle. I don't know. Uh, go to school, return, finish my English. I don't know. What, do you guys have any plans? Yes, teacher, we have. Well, good evening to everyone. Good evening, mm -hmm. nice. Last class. So today we have uh, the pleasure to know Sandra. <laughs> I, I no. told her. I told her. It's amazing. That's all, true. All the course. And finally, on the last day, hey, we see her. That's true, teacher. <laughs> but not everyone has the cup of something. Yeah, I was drinking some tea. What happened with you guys? I, I say, hey, it's the last day. Hey, there yeah. you go. Leonidas has something to drink. <laughs> Exactly. Tea, yeah, <laughs> yeah it's, a rela it's a relaxing. It's our last day. Oh, before, mm -hmm. before we continue talking, sorry, sorry. Anybody have any questions on the platform, on the exam, any, to, any exercise? Just in case, I don't know. J uh, just checking. <laughs> I don't want you to finish the class and say, oh, I didn't ask. I, I, you know, any questions, any part of the platform? Well, not teacher in my case. I just already got the certification. And it was a pleasure to work with you. Is a good, you are a good teacher. Yeah. Thank, <laughs> thank you. I'm glad. I'm glad you guys got the, you got the certificate, and I'm glad you enjoyed the class. That's that's important for me. Good. Okay. All right. Well, you know, if, if you do have a question or if you remember while we are talking, just ask, and I'll be happy to to answer and help you out with the platform or uh, somebody in the group who we can help. But now it's it's so so nice the last day and not have to worry about the grades not have to worry about the platform it's everything is complete it's just like ah it's a good it's a good one I relief <laughs> yeah yeah Leonidas you were gonna say uh, what is your goal for next year what, what are your they call them resolutions like yeah they call them new year's resolutions what, but it's it's the same idea the goals what's your what's your well, objective? I had, I had um Maybe at least, but maybe the most important it is um, save money for my retirement and invest the money and um, finish my major and get the certification from my major too. I think that that and maybe, maybe if I could save money too, I want to travel to visit my family too. If the pandemic is like control or we got the vaccine at the middle of the year, that's my goals at this point. Hey, great, great goals, Leonidas. I, I began some of those this year. I began the, the saving for the retirement this year and began uh, investing this year. So, mm -hmm. Was your family living in Leonidas? My family is living in Miami. Wow. Others are in, in Colorado and others are in California. Cool. We're at California. I used to live there. Ah, nice. Uh, good um, environment. And the, I like the weather. You know, it's like this. You could, well, it's like Salvador. I like the yeah. Santa Monica beaches. Oh, nice. <laughs> nice place. So, your family is around Santa Monica. No, they used to live in um, Enhe. Ah. Now they moved to Orange County. Wow. So, but I was like, um, like doing tourists in that time. So I go to visit many beaches. I love the beach, beaches and the mountain. I like the um, adventure always. Yeah, that's a nice area. I, I, I think Colorado is beautiful. I had the opportunity to go um, once, only been to Colorado once, but wow, it's, I went to Denver, Denver, Colorado, and it's like 
kind of like San Salvador where you see the volcano, but it's set a volcano, it's mountains, but the top of the mountains have snow and you see them in the city. And it, it's amazing because in the city is hot and it's like summer, like San Salvador, but there is snow in the mountains. So it's, it's very, <laughs> it's an amazing contrast. It's pretty cool. Pretty cool. That's nice, Lonitis. Hopefully you can go visit your family and, you know, uh, especially with this question with the pandemic is so difficult to know how things are going to progress uh, when are we going to get the vaccine, who's going to get the vaccine, uh, you know, who's going to fly, not fly, the, all of these different technical things. That's true, teacher. Mm -hmm. Oscar, what about you? What are you going to say? Well, what, are your, what are your plans for next year? What are we going to be doing? Um, well, perhaps my main objective is to to produce more or have more money um, because I don't know if Leonidas, but I'm a father. <laughs> so I'm thinking about my kids and... How many kids um, do you have, Oscar? Two. Two kids, okay. A boy that, who's five years old and a girl that's three years old. Okay. Um, so I'm, we're thinking to have a third one and also uh, perhaps a school will, will be coming and you know, or kindergarten, and that's more money, right? Hmm, yeah. So Maybe stop that too. <laughs> I'm thinking about, um, and, um, but we have to have the family bigger. Mm -hmm. So I'm, we're thinking, well, I'm thinking about hiring uh, another dentist who works at my clinic with me. Um, mm -hmm. So that's one plan. Well, it's a project uh, for three months. If, if it works, she will continue working for me for the whole year and hold up for forever. I think so. So because I work in Anda. That's nice. That's a good so plan. While I am in Anda, clinic is is how do you say? It's, it's alone. Mm -hmm. Nobody is there. Just just the dental assistant. So I need a, a, an extra dentist for the morning, so always will will be open. Okay. okay. So that's why I need I need one more dentist. That's a, a little plan that I have. Well, yeah. So we will see. Oh, we, and we would like to travel. Uh, yeah. Yes, I am. And travel to where, Oscar? Uh, this year we were supposed to visit a, a friend, uh, I'm, I'm sorry, a, a cousin of my wife. She lives in New Hampshire. We were supposed to go there, but we didn't go. So we don't know next year, perhaps again New Hampshire, or I would like to visit Texas. I would like to go to the NASA place and some places around there like uh, San Antonio, Houston, I have a cousin there. I have two friends from the university also in, I forget about this city who's famous because of the water. And they say that it is the cosmopolitan city in Texas. Oh, I don't know what I read. That is on the top five of cities in the United States right now. Really? Austin, oh, is, is that Austin? Austin, Texas? I think so, yeah. Okay. They were, I, I, I read an article that is really famous because of the water and it's something something around something about the water there is uh, how do you say that it's abundante plentiful plentiful yes plentiful i was reading that that it's plentiful and you you can see water i don't know i have never been there i don't know if it's austin yeah i think it's austin i, I forgot the name okay i okay. think so well, maybe Houston, so maybe that, Houston, Texas. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Well, if you so, go to if you go to New Hampshire, I recommend going in August. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah. August is amazing. It's amazing. It's it's like in the movies when you go in August or uh, early November. Um, uh -huh. It's you see all of the colors just like in the like like in a picture, the yellows and the oranges and the browns and wow. Because all of it, it, this is the month um, uh, uh, that the trees change colors. So then you can, it's, it's not, you don't have to worry about rain and you don't have to worry about snow. 
but it's nice and cool. It's not too hot. And you can see all of the beauty. You can still go out. You can still walk around, but you get to enjoy also the, the beautiful colors of all the different trees. Wow. Nice. Thanks for your advice. Mm -hmm. the, uh, the husband of my uh, cousin wife, is that how you say? Mm, kind so, of. It, it's my, my wife's cousin's husband I was, okay yeah, i'm sorry yeah my wife's cousin husband uh they came like two years ago because the grandma of, of my wife passed away right so we were there on the funeral and, and he, he said when you come to new hampshire i'm gonna take you on a how you say trineo pulled by dogs something uh, like that yeah 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 okay on a sled sled is that famous around there um they have they have different sleds you, because they, uh, New Hampshire has two very uh, popular types of sleds. They have sleds that are with dogs, like the, the dog sleds, but that, uh -huh. has to be in, that has to be in the winter. And then they have the other sleds, wh which are like for, like in the movies where you see the people playing and they're going down the hills and the others, these are the other sleds. Wow. Mm -hmm. so. Yeah. Yeah, that would be nice, right? I will, oh. will feel like this movie, like Cool Runnings. Ah, <laughs> uh -huh. yeah. Uh huh. The like. Salvadorian between the snow. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That would be cool. All right. Well, that's my plans. <laughs> sounds sounds nice. Sounds nice. You have to yeah. share. The, you have to share the pictures later in Instagram or something. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> are, you, are you on Instagram? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just like my my oh, name, my Edwin Cubillas. Mm -hmm. Okay, I will take a look for you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I I usually have quite a few pictures there. Elias, Stephanie, what about you? What are your plans? Well, teacher, one of my biggest plans for next year is to graduate for the University of El Salvador. I plan to finish my thesis. Um, maybe on March or April, I don't know. <laughs> and then keep working and saving money for maybe a trip. That's great. Where would you like to visit, Stephanie? Well, I would. I would like to 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 visit so many places, <laughs> but um, I like Asia. And I would like to go to Korea. Oh, wow. You're into K-pop, huh? Uh, no, not, not, not for that. It's, it's because of the technology. Ah, okay, okay. Yes, and I know a tour. There's a tour, a tour guide that, from Mexico. Mm -hmm. He's Korean and he has the, the tourist planners and... I don't know, it's kind, it seems like a good tour, so maybe, why not? I could, I could go there with him. Okay. It sounds pretty cool. So you, I mean, if, if he, that's a pretty good way because he probably speaks Spanish, right? And he's yes. Korean, so that makes it, <laughs> that makes it a lot easier to, to travel around. Yes, it will be cool because my, my, uh, two of my aunts, lived in Mexico and maybe I could go there first and then go to Korea. So it will be really cool. Nice, nice. I always heard that Korea is expensive, that the, the flights to Korea are expensive, but I imagine, yes. <laughs> I imagine right now when the pandemic finishes, like probably in February, March, when the country starts to allow more open flying, it, that the prices are going to be cheap the first the first few months because yes i think so mm -hmm. but the thing is i am a little frightened to travel so i don't know if travel is i i, I mean uh travel for me is on my plans but not at all because maybe on 2022 or at the end of 2021 i don't know <laughs> okay you don't like to go by yourself Yes, I would like to, but I don't know, mm, just saving money. <laughs> yeah, 
traveling is that <laughs> that's the most expensive part right <laughs> that's the hardest part yes. it's easy to travel but it's hard to have the money to save the money to travel <laughs> yes because money flies at the time yeah 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 Elias or Sandra what about you what's your what are your plans this coming year just study and working because I want to save money because one of my dream goals is to travel to Africa. Africa? Yeah. And okay. that's my father's dream too. So maybe we are doing it together, but we don't know why. No, I mean, when? Uh, and any, when yet? Any place in Africa? Any, any place in specific that you want to visit? <sighs> El Serengeti. Okay. <laughs> So, and Egypt. Okay, so the safari and uh, the pyramids. Yes. Okay. Not just the pyramids, maybe the Valley of the Kings, where is Tutankhamun, and mm -hmm. all of that famous mummies. 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 Mm -hmm. Yeah. Nice, nice. Maybe visit the Nile, see the crocodiles. Like in the movies, they say there's crocodiles in the Nile. <laughs> I don't think so, but maybe. no, no, they are, they are, yeah, really? yeah. That's what they say. I had, I had an ex student, um, maybe three years ago. She went to Africa. Mm -hmm. She, she went with her father. Uh, the same thing. Um, mm -hmm. they and they had, uh, they went on the Nile. They stayed at a hotel, and they said that yeah, there, there really are crocodiles in the Nile, and you know, the, it's just, uh, it's an amazing place. It's, it's kind of like what you expect, but a lot of things that you don't expect also. That would be a really great experience. Mm -hmm. I don't want to die before going there. <laughs> oh, <laughs> there you go. <laughs> yeah. Nice, nice places. I, so I, I guess from the, what I get from the class in general is everybody would like to travel. I think this pandemic has made everybody think, hey, you know what? Maybe it's time to visit someplace else. No. <laughs> <laughs> I had this thinking from years ago. Maybe since I was 10 years. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. And always it's been Africa, Sandra. Yes, Africa. Okay, like, you know, like Stephanie with, with Korea and Japan or something. Mm -hmm. I think so. <laughs> okay, all right. That's good. You know, it's always, it's always nice to, I think it's, I think when you travel, you educate yourself. I think traveling is one of the best ways to, to learn uh, everybody says oh it's a vacation or something but it's it's also a great mm -hmm. way to experience new yeah. cultures to meet new people i have met so many people when i traveled it you know and some people even today i still i still am in contact through instagram or through uh, you know facebook or something with with people that i i've met in my travels so it's it's amazing yes it is and especially now that you guys know english i mean all of you with the with Spanish and English, you open so many doors because the English helps you. You you don't have to be a native speaker, but just being able to speak and communicate normally, that's enough. That's enough. Mm -hmm. Oh man, that's I'd I'd like to see Africa. I, I think Africa would be cool. I like to see the Valley of the Kings and you know uh, Egypt. I can I can imagine you know. The Cleopatra and uh, all of these people there and the wars and you, you know I don't know I, I think it's kind of I think it's one of those places like Greece or Rome where it has so much history that only to yeah. be there and, and to imagine like oh, wow before the soldiers were here or this could have been uh, you know um, the king the king could have walked in these streets or something like that so mm -hmm. yeah king. that's exactly what I think of uh, when I see some documentals online, I can imagine myself walking on those museums or those streets, and I could see like myself dressing like the same way that they did in those those ages. Yeah. And I can feel myself there. That's great, great. Hopefully, you get the opportunity, and you know that would be. It's. I, I always think that. It's, it's nice. It's nice to have that one place that you say, I have to visit. I want to, yeah. to visit. Mm -hmm. 
for, I, for me, I want to visit Petra. I, I really, the, the city that is built into the mountains that they yeah, carved. Interesting. Yeah, I, 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 that to me is amazing. Amazing that this city was hidden, but not hidden, be, but hidden because they needed to protect themselves from the sun. And they say, okay, well, let's put the city into the rock. And it's like the volcano. And then they began to carve and create their buildings from the volcano, from, from the rock. So I don't know. All right. Well, cool. All right. Well, great, guys. Um, you know, and, and what about, because you only have one more English. Like there's really, I think, only advanced three and then that's it. What are you guys planning to do after it? Like, um, are you going to continue in an academy? Are you going to try to get a job using it? Are you going to use it online? What, what are your plans? How, are you, how do you plan to put it into practice? Here, I have a question. What about the, the courses there is in the platform that say preparation to the 12th or something like that? If they are available? I, um, I don't know if they're available uh, or I don't know if they will be available because it has to be with a, a certain number of people. And in order to take the course, you have to finish advanced. And most people, when they finish advanced, don't continue taking the next course. So it's kind of like... Mm, you need to make a list and then be put, they need to be put on the list. And when they have enough people, then they create the courses. Okay, perfect. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Teacher, I got a question for you. Mm -hmm. um, how can I, how can I improve like thinking faster and faster in English? Stop speaking. I mean, right. stop. Like the idea is with when you stop uh, speaking in Spanish, and even if you go slowly, but if you only focus on English. So the idea is you need to, like right now, we're having a conversation and you don't have time to think in Spanish. So the idea is this is the hardest part. The hardest part is when you don't know the word and then you want to go to Spanish and you're thinking, you, you need to stop yourself. You need to think of how to explain yourself in English or how to use different words, but you need to make a conscious and a difficult decision not to be able to use Spanish. Okay. I get it. Yeah. It's, it's, it, it, it's pretty hard. It, it, it really is. It's because for example, um, like, okay, if you notice it in the entire class, many times or, or classmates, some speak Spanish and then they speak English in the same sentence or something like this. But this is because of, of that. They, they haven't gotten used to when you speak English, it's English. When you speak Spanish, it's Spanish. It's not mixing the languages. Yes. And, and that's only a decision. That's, that's just a, a, a decision and a lot of practice. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. And for the listening teacher, how much time do you recommend to to watch TV in English or to listen radio? Well, actually, in our country, there's just uh, lasted English, right? I think so. And a, and a few radios that lets you uh, English music. But how 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 two hours? I don't know. For well, example. Well, really, it depends on the topic because. If the topic, if, if it's a topic you understand, then it's okay that you listen like a normal radio. But if it's conversation or topics that you don't understand, then it's like listening Chinese because they're going to be speaking, <laughs> but you're not going to understand the vocabulary. And it's okay you don't understand some words, but you need to understand the topics. That's, okay. the, pro that's the problem because if you don't, if you understand the topics, you can sometimes, um, with the context, you can get an idea of what is the meaning. And uh, with the context, you can get an idea of uh, if it's positive or negative, what they're trying to say. But if you don't understand the context, if, then it's really hard. So you need to pick a level where it's comfortable. And today, it doesn't matter about English because you can have English, uh, you can have live broadcast uh, from YouTube. You can have live uh, radios. You can have... Uh, recorded messages. You can have audio books that are free. You can have uh, uh, PDF that you can watch the TV. You can have Claro has that you can put it in English. I think Tinko does the same thing. You can choose the language for some of the programs that, that you watch. Netflix is in English. I mean, there, there's so much in English that you can do now. The, yes. 
the important is that whatever you do is you do it like a normal part of your life. You don't want to take it like an exercise. That's the best okay. way. That's the best way to make it normal for you. Because if you are like, ah, I'm going to watch 45 minutes of this movie in English or, or, or a lecture in English, but it's a very high level. No, I mean, watch whatever you watch. If you watch action movies, if you watch friends, if you watch cartoons, whatever you like to watch, watch it in English. But it's part of your normal conversation. It's part of your normal. Because many times the, the problem comes is when you do it as an exercise and then it's an, in your mind and you continue to do it like an exercise. It's kind of like work, right? You go to work and you don't go to work because you like it. You go to work because you have to get the money. But if work is fun and you like it, then it's not work. That's the same thing for the English. The best way to improve is to feel comfortable, to like what you're listening to, to like what you're watching. That way you, you do it more and more. Okay. That's, uh-huh. What, what's with the, with the dentist, Oscar? Uh, Le, uh, Leonidas asked me. Yeah, teacher, I didn't understand why. Hey, Oscar, I did not. I did not. Ah, okay. Yeah. Dentist. Um, mm -hmm. I'm a dentist. Oh, okay, perfect. <laughs> Yeah. So for example, now, now you understand. Yeah. Like in, like, sorry in your, about my English. <laughs> no, no. Like in, in, like in your clinic, Oscar, in your clinic, you can have magazines in English. You can have the radio in English. I don't know if you have a, a TV, you can have it in English. You can have music in English and it's just there. It's part of the, your lifestyle. It's part of the background, you know? Yeah. On the university, uh, many teachers, they used to give us um, articles for uh, how do you call these ones? Uh, I forget about the names. Yeah, articles. So they, some of them they used to be in English. So we used to practice it more, but sometimes I just, it's not that I don't want you or that, or, or that I don't like English. It's just that sometimes I just, my day doesn't allow me to turn on the TV or to, I just listen to radio in the car a while. You know, I'm just looking mouth every day and and I don't use too much, um, uh, how you say? The English. Apparat apparatos. Uh, uh, I don't use too much. Machines? Or yeah. I, mm -hmm. I just take the phone to answer chats or to answer calls. Uh, I Sometimes I have, I use Netflix or YouTube. I'm really busy with my hands, <laughs> so that's why I'm trying to. Well, in the clinic, we we play the radio station. We play laser, <laughs> laser español, laser ingles. When the assistant get, she gets tired, she she, she changes it to la femenina or other radio stations, right? Mm -hmm. But that's the unique. I think radio station is the my um, my first option. <laughs> is this my yeah the radio is the the one that i have it eight hours a day okay then that if radio is what you have then that's what you begin with you know look for a there, there like i said it doesn't have to be a, only lasted in english you can get the english programs i know that it, it's about it, it's just about organizing your time and really about what you like because you can have english programs and there's a lot of them but you know, sometimes maybe you don't like the music, you don't like the conversation. They talk about politics. Some talk yeah. about, you know, it, it, some are serious. Some are like lasted in English and they talk about whatever. But, you know, if you're, yeah. if you're listening to them talk about, I don't know, uh, California and you don't know, you know, the people in California and you, they say the names of, oh, uh, Andrew Jackson is going to be whatever. For you, it's not logic. You, you have no idea what they're saying, be, even if you don't know the names, because it doesn't, it, the person is not important. Okay, okay, yes. Mm -hmm. That's why I say that the important is to try to find a way that is part of your life. That way it's not, an, like, like you mentioned right now, it's, you have limited time, so you don't want it to be extra from your life. You want to change what you are doing right now in Spanish and just put it in English. Okay. Mm -hmm. 
For example, I read, I read books, okay? I read, but it's part of my life. And I read books in the language they were written. I normally read English book, but if there's a Spanish book that looks interesting, I read Spanish, even if I am better at reading English because I like to watch the original language. The same for the movies. It does, for me, it doesn't matter. If the movie is a Spanish movie or Mexican or whatever, and the original language is Spanish, I watch it in Spanish. But if the original language is English, I watch it in English because I think that you lose a lot of the interpretation and the intonation and all of this. A lot of the language is lost when you translate it. Mm -hmm. Like when you watch Argentina, it, 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 they, they have, uh, I don't know, they have a lot of expressions that are different from Salvadorians. Like they say, deja, me estás hinchando las bolas. And it's not the same, deja de joder. In El Salvador, de, deja de molestar. De, I mean, so each country has their own, but it's really fun, but it's really different if I listen to it in English, because in English is, stop bothering me. Mm. Deja de hincharme la bola and stop bothering me is completely different. Like the expression, okay. the, the meaning is, I mean, the meaning is the same, but it's not the same. <laughs> it's not the same. So, yeah. That's, so if you it, so if you like to watch Netflix, if you like to do it, if whatever you do, but do it in the original language, and you'll you'll learn even more because the original language, you'll hear how people use the language, the expressions, the you know the 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 phrasal verbs, these types of things, the idioms. Mm -hmm. So, I don't know. I I. I I think everybody can learn. It's just a matter of, whew, sometimes it's just organizing our life. I think the hardest part is just finding the time. Yeah, that's the, that's the key word, the time. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And I mean, you know, and it, it, it it's all depends because if you have a family, you have children, you have a wife, you have a business, you have a job. I mean, poof. And right now you have your English class. And then... <gasps> I mean, whew, you, you must finish tired, you know, like you, you're thinking or already, how, how do I find more time? How do I find the time? And it's, huh. and it's not about finding time. It's just using the time differently, using the same time in, in different functions. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you, have, you said, Oscar, you have a child that's five years old and you have another one that's three, right? Yes. Okay. You, I, you know what, Oscar? The perfect thing is talk to your kids in English. They don't know that you pronounce correctly. They don't know if you're speaking correctly, but you know that you have the opportunity to practice with them. Okay. So when you say buenas noches and say good night, si piensa los dientes, brush your teeth. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay, okay, I will do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It really, it Which believe, it really helps because you feel that you're talking to someone. And when you realize it, the kids are going to start answering. When they say, ah, quiero agua. Oh, okay, water. Okay. And you just repeat it back to them. And before you realize it, they're going to start changing it. And even if it's just one or two words, you're going to say, oh, my God. Okay. Not only am I teaching them, but I'm practicing, which is the key. <laughs> okay. I will do it. I practice with them what they teach you on what they teach them on the kindergarten, right? Like the colors and well, that's a, and, and, and that's what I mean, Oscar. That's why you that's what you need to stop. It's not it's you need not to have it as a class. You need to have it as part of your life. So if you're normally going to say, Oh, uh, you know, if you if you normally would say uh, una manzana verde, una manzana roja, then say a red apple, green apple. But don't don't study it. Because studying it makes it okay. makes it like uh, like you have to make time for it, or studying it makes it like oh, it's an extra or uh, exercise. But it's not; it's just part of your life. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. So imagine Sandra. Cool. Okay, okay. So and and imagine Sandra has a boyfriend. Okay, and she doesn't have time to see her boyfriend. Right? I don't know if it's true. Don't worry, Sandra. We're just making it up. But no, okay. So imagine Sandra doesn't have a boyfriend, or she, but she does, then she gets a boyfriend, but she doesn't want to change her lifestyle. So all she has to do is adapt so that her boyfriend does the same things that she does. So if Sandra is going to go to the mall, her, have her boyfriend accompany her. If Sandra is going to go to the park, have her boyfriend accompany her. So the same thing for you. If you are going to watch, just do it in English. If you are going to, talk to them just do it in english so don't 
change that lifestyle, do your normal lifestyle, but do it in English. Okay. I will do it for mm -hmm. sure. Okay. Yeah. And try it. I mean, at first it's going to seem hard because you're not used to it. You know, like in, 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 in my house, we, we, we speak many different languages and we pick it up and we, there are some things that we say, some things that we don't say. We use, uh, we speak sometimes Mandarin, sometimes English, sometimes Spanish, sometimes, you know, uh, Italian. It depends what we want to say. And it's just, it, it's not that we try to, to know a lot of languages. It's just, it, it's easy. Mm-hmm. Or, ben, ben. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Or when we say, uh, when I, when my sister-in-law comes in, we say she used to study. So I used to say, Ni hao ma, wo ha hao, and then we, we would just, you know, it, but it's not that it's a class. It's just, it's just part of the lifestyle. So your, uh, your wife, she's a teacher too? No, my wife is a nurse. She only speaks Spanish. But she, under, <laughs> okay, but, cool. but she, but she can understand English because even, even if she, she doesn't like English and she hates it, but because I speak it, when she answers, when she talks to me, I, I answer her in English, even if she didn't like it, now she's learned to understand it. <laughs> hey teacher, I like that. I will try to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Even if they don't like it, my, my son doesn't like it, but you know what? I don't care. It doesn't matter. I still speak it. Hey, are you married, Leonidas? No, I'm not, but for my brother and my sister, they, for example, my brother used to uh, learn English and my sister too, and my mother too, so they need practice and I need to practice too. So it's a good exercise to do that lifestyle that the teacher is telling you, telling us right now. Yeah. And before you realize it, eh, it's part of your lifestyle. You don't even try it. At, at the beginning, it seems difficult. Like, oh my God, I have to speak English. How do I say this? Say it in Spanish until you know it. And then little by little, say it and keep going. Mm -hmm. You'll see. I recommend, I recommend uh, well, not only for us, but also for everyone, an app that is called Radio UK. Um, it has a, it has a lot of a lot of radio stations, and it's very useful if you want to listen more English. There you go, Oscar. Radio UK. Thank you. <laughs> Yay. Yeah, yeah. There's so many. There's today. There's so many different things for free. I I listen to books. I listen to audio books. Um, sometimes, sometimes in English, sometimes in Spanish. Um, I read books online. I mean. And I don't pay for it because there's, there's so many options today with, with the internet, PDF, World Wide Web. Mm -hmm. For example, I'm not a doc, I'm not a dentist, but I, I read magazines for, and different. And in there, they talk about, I learned, for example, like all oh, veneers, how to install veneers, how to create a crown, how to do. And I say, oh, my God. And I, I never know when I'm going to use it. But now I have Oscar as my dentist. I can ask him, hey, Oscar, can you install veneers? How much is the price? What about? For? And now when I talk to different people for the different topics, hey, I can talk. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> Yeah. Or even, you know, like you, you just never know that it, it's just about whatever, finding whatever you like or whatever you, you're interested in. And then just, you never know when you're going to use it. But the important is part of make, make it part of your lifestyle. I send you the, the link, the app link. Hey, hey our, thanks, Steph. Thank you. Appreciate that. You're welcome. Also, I really recommend you a channel in English on YouTube. You can look for it. It calls English. I don't know if you if you understand me. In English. Yes. Okay. All right. Well, look. It's with three M. Like. Mm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> hey, are you going to continue to your next course with us? I don't know. I, 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 I hope so, but I'm not sure if they're going to, wh when we're going to begin or what's going to happen, but I hope, I hope we continue next okay. because it, it would be our last course and then you graduate. So why not? Yeah, mm -hmm. that would be, be great. Mm -hmm. 
All right, guys, I hope you enjoy your vacation. You stay safe. Congratulations on completing the platform and coming to class all of these days. I know it's hard, especially after all of the work and study. So great job. Congratulations, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. For everything. You're welcome. Yeah. I hope, I hope we, we see each other again in January. Cool. Hope so. Hope so. Okay. Yeah, I hope so. All right. Bye, guys. Okay. Happy Bye. New Year. Bye. Happy New Year. Merry Christmas. Happy New Year. Happy Christmas. Thank you. Bye. Bye.